trying to trick you. This really is uh, data that you should learn about. Uh, and what is it? So I'm talking actually about sauna. So there was a journal article that came out this year from the International Journal of Hyperthermia. Who knew there was a journal talking about getting hot? But there you go. So it was a study in a Finnish sauna. And what they looked at was data that we've known about for quite some time. That's why we have an infrared sauna here at the clinic. But sauna, when it increases your body temperature, of course you sweat, your heart rate goes up, but also your blood pressure goes down. There are certain cells called natural killer cells that get secreted. Natural killer cells protect you against disease, against infection, which is why sauna is so great for boosting your immune system. And this data was known, um, but it was also confirmed by the study. Additionally, they talked about sauna being a mimicker of exercise. So as your heart rate is going up and you're sweating, you do that when you exercise, right? And they found that um, the, the men that were part of this study, their body mass index went down and actually their muscle uh, went up. So you go, wow, that is a good cheat. I, I don't think you should not exercise and only do sauna. And the, but sauna is great for everyone because that detoxification, uh, the boost of the immune system, these are, it's extremely therapeutic for everyone. But if you're someone who hates exercise and maybe you have some cardiovascular problems and immune problems, also sauna is very protective of, of the brain and uh, dementia, Alzheimer. So it has so many profound benefits on your health that embracing sauna fairly regularly could be of huge benefit to your health. So then think about that as far as getting access to it. There are also some uh, sauna-like blankets that are out on the market uh, that you can have in your home, but otherwise if you have access to you know, an actual sauna, that would be great. Uh, but I found this study really fascinating from the viewpoint of what it did for body mass index going down and and uh, muscle, muscle tone going up, and also just uh, how these individuals felt after, after regular sauna. So uh, really consider adding sauna to, to your activities, and it, it's a huge benefit, especially now as it's getting colder, there's a lot more colds and flu going around. Uh, it's not just, you know, oh, it's a good sweat and sweating will get toxins out of you. Yes, it does, but it factually increases what's called heat shock proteins. Great name for it, right? And they studied that in, uh, they evaluated that in the study as well. So um, these heat shock proteins uh, cause the increase of, of natural killer cells and certain anti-inflammatory uh, interleukins, they're called, but profoundly good for the immune system. So. We have immune system protection, we have it mimicking exercise, lowering blood pressure, detoxification, losing weight, muscle tone, pretty darn good for, for getting in a hot sauna. So consider that. Uh, if you like this information and you want others to see it, please subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if there's anything about your health that's not the way you want it to be and you need it improved, that's what we do here at Root Cause Medical clinic, uh, we, we address what's really going on, not just managing your symptom, but the true underlying root cause that's creating your symptoms and not just managing them with drugs or surgeries and things like that, but, you know, really, truly regaining your health at a very foundational uh, level. So I'll see you tomorrow, and I hope you enjoyed the content.